this takes us to, to Lean Lab. I don't want to, to reiterate some of the things that Lorcan had said, but if I, if I quickly just say, the goals of Lean in the lab are the same as Lean anywhere else. Elimination of waste, reducing costs, reducing lead times, doing things more efficiently, they're all goals of any Lean program, whether it be in the lab or anywhere else. We do recognise, as Lorcan explained, that uh, activities in the lab are somewhat different to other areas. That doesn't mean that the principles of Lean can't apply and indeed they do apply and, and we've, been, we've, we've seen the benefits of that through our Lean Lab programme. So with that, uh, we launched our phase one of our Lean Lab programme in quarter one of 2010. We focused on our in-process and finished product labs and, and that's the, the um, case study that John will take you through next. Uh, and when you go to the lab, you will see the tools that we're using uh, to do that. We delivered on that programme in quarter three of 2010, and I must say we're, we're very, very pleased and very satisfied with how the programme has developed and the benefits that we've achieved from it. A number of things that were key to the success of the programme. Uh, one was communication to employees, and Lorcan referred to communication. We communicated to all employees who were impacted by this at, at regular and, and frequent intervals throughout the programme. And that was important to keep people engaged and keep them involved. We had a project team which consisted of a, of a, a team of analysts with uh, John Bowen who was the lead. Uh, the team are here with us today. Uh, the project team participation was something that was, was essential and was key to the success of the programme and, and certainly having introduced operational excellence on the site in 2009 People were very familiar with the concept of lean, with the concept of operational excellence and with the, the opportunities that existed uh, to improve. And people were very committed uh, to making the changes. The third thing that was key to our success was BSM. Uh, Lorcan was the, the BSM representative who worked with us through the programme. And Lorcan's help and his support through the programme was invaluable. The knowledge and the experience that BSM, BSM have in this area is, is really fantastic. And I must say, without, without Lorcan's help, we wouldn't have realised the successes that we have, had, have realised. Uh, there are tools and techniques that BSM use that we would have struggled to get to um, and struggled big time without BSM's help. Lorcan's style and his approach of working was an excellent fit with the folks here on site. Um, he fitted in and he became part, almost part of the furniture, we would say, um, for a number of months. He easily fitted in with the group and he, he worked his way around people um, and, and he was fantastic support through the programme. So thanks for that, Lorcan. Uh, other things that I suppose supported and helped the programme, um, Lorcan referred to uh, a steering committee. We had a Lean Lab steering committee and we also had a sponsor for the programme. And that, that helped monitor the progress and if any issues arose through the program, we quickly resolved them. On the back of the success of our phase one, uh, we launched our phase two program in quarter four of 2010. The phase two program is focusing and is currently in progress, is foc focusing on our micro lab and our uh, raw materials lab. And we're working through developing the solutions appropriate for those work areas at this point. And, and the likelihood is they will be different solutions to uh, what we are using in the in-process and finished product labs. But that's fine. E each work area has a different mechanism of operation. Um, and, and so, you know, a different solution is, is appropriate for different areas. And one of the other things that we're doing uh, this year, uh, we hope to, to develop a strategy to take our lab to a, a lean lab world class level. Um, and we're doing some work to develop a strategy through this year uh, to take us for the next, I suppose, two to three years in terms of Lean Lab 